tiered display stand. Um, really can be used for anything that you want to use. Okay, welcome back to another episode for the 12 Days of Christmas. Days of Christmas. Uh, this one is going to be just a simple tiered display stand. Um, really can be used for anything that you want to use. Um, we were going to put uh, Christmas cards. That's what the idea was for this one is so that we can put the... Um, it's big enough to put on top of our mantle up there and then we can just put the Christmas cards on there and then it'll be something you can just store away later. But you can also use it for pretty much anything that you want to. Um, very you know, little knickknacks or something, or maybe you collect something, uh, bottles or anything, but uh, this will be for Christmas cards. And it's, uh, I got the plans out there drawn up, so it's real simple, just cut your six pieces for your legs and then your three pieces for your shelves. So I'm gonna get that done, and I'll show you how to put it together here shortly. And I have a cut list for this as well. Um, I got one of those extensions and cut, and uh, so I'll get that out there. Uh, basically two shelves and one of the legs, then your third shelf and the rest of the legs. Okay, there's my three legs. Now I just need, or the three shelves actually, sorry about that. Now I just need the legs for each side. There's the ten and a half, and the six and three quarters here, and there's the last ones. So I've got everything cut out now, and all i got left to do is put some pocket holes in there and glue it together. So for the pocket hole locations, what I went um, just kind of eyeballed it and see what looks good. Um, one and a half from the bottom on the long one and uh, five and a half. So one and a half, five and a half is the location and then on the middle one to go into the small one I just went with uh, three quarters and then two and a quarter. It just so happens that it lines up with A and C at those measurements so it makes it easier. This one you're just gonna have to watch your marks and you know pocket holes are you know it doesn't have to be perfect just get them as lined up as close as you can so I'm gonna use a and this is why I say get this one because once it's all set up it's a whole lot faster and easier than the little handheld one that we have um, the handheld one worked it just you've got to Take the clamp off, clamp it onto the new place. That's an individual hole at each time, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna get these glued together and uh, the pocket holes in, or the screws in. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and sand all of this down before I put the shelves on uh, that way. You know, they'll have this nice flat surface to sand on and can get it uh, nice and smooth to accept that stain. And then we'll put the shelves on these three. Those will be pretty easy. You just got to mark a mark and, um, you know, inset it ever how far you want. I think I drew it up for two inches from the, two inches from the edge so that it uh, overhangs a little bit to give it some dimension. Okay, so pay attention and make sure you make a mirror copy of each other. Otherwise, you're... I did it. I did it. Not once, but twice. So, basically these are... I did laid them out both in the same direction earlier. I laid them out the same way and I drew my pocket holes. Well, when you do that, then one set of pocket holes is going to be on the outside. So, third time's a charm. And when you're laying yours out, go ahead and just lay them like this so you don't get confused, unless you're better at thinking about it. I just was talking and moving along and whatever, so I did it twice. But anyway, if you lay them out in a mirror copy like this and draw your lines for your pocket holes, then you should have it right when you get done. I'm just going to get everything sanded down so that it's nice and smooth on the outside and the inside where these holes were.
Okay, now it's time to put the pieces together and stain it. Get this first one on, it'll be a lot easier for the others. And if I had something to stack up, I could probably flip it over and do it a lot easier. But ever how you decide, if somebody has a real good idea of how to do this, leave it in the comments below and let me know because I'll probably be making a few more of these. Anyway, like I said, if you got an easier way to put these shelves on there, let me know. So I'm just making my mark. At two inches in like I said and that's what I'm looking at underneath to line them up and that's how how I'm doing it so uh, you probably could go in a few more inches just to give it a little bit better look but I already did two um, I was thinking maybe maybe about right here maybe about four inches maybe even five inches from the inside uh, two inches just a long long batch I think it would look better more more pleasing to the eye as they say if you would come in a little bit more and maybe put the shelves about right here which that's what you do learn if you don't like this you modify it i'm trying one of my wife's cousin's beers it's pretty good. Never had it before. Just gonna relax until Caitlin gets back with my wood filler and stain so I can finish up this display. But at least I got some place to sit and relax. You can never go wrong with a fire. Although I do need to get some more wood. I have some in the wheelbarrow. I just haven't brought it in yet. This is the first cold night, so we've had a pretty good weather. But it's finally, I think it got down into the mid-20s, which is pretty unusual for down here. And it's supposed to be even colder tonight. Cold beer, warm fire. Hopefully she'll be back soon. She's been gone a little while already. Okay, so just sand down the wood filler and it's ready to stain. I'm gonna stain it over here by the stove so that it'll be a little bit nice, warmer and it'll dry properly and stuff. Won't take so long. So I just need to let that dry and then I'll get some cards on it and show you what it looks like with uh, some Christmas cards on it. Tiered display stand for anything that you want. Um, this idea was for Christmas cards, so it's going in the 12 days of Christmas as a Christmas craft. But, you know, you could use it and modify it to put, you know, knickknacks or something on if you wanted to. Well, leave comments below, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. As always, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.